Welcome to this checkbox in Selenium tutorial using Selenium WebDriver. A checkbox is a web element that belongs to a group of checkboxes. You can select any checkboxes from that group. You may select no checkbox, one checkbox, multiple checkboxes or all the checkboxes. In Selenium with Java, you can know if a checkbox Selenium is selected or not by using the is selected method. To select checkbox in Selenium, you can use the click method. Let us now see checkbox example. Now this is my blog software testing space and there is a HTML and CSS quiz on it. The link of this quiz is in the description. Now here we can see in the questions there are checkboxes. So I can select this checkbox or I can select this checkbox, any one checkbox or I can even select multiple checkboxes or I can select all the checkboxes or none of the checkboxes. So all these possibilities are there. Now I will show how to select checkbox in Selenium WebDriver using MacStaff, the free cloud Selenium Java platform in the Selenium tutorial for beginners. So I have created a free account on MacStaff and I am logging in now. Earlier in tutorial 1 I created a project and here I click on cases and I want to create a new case. So click on the create button and the name of my test case is going to be checkbox1. And in the template, I can select Selenium Hello World. So the sample code will be filled in and click on the create button. Now the test case is created. I can click on the script tab and update the code. Now in the test case code, the main method is the test. So here I can update it. So let me, I don't want to open Wikipedia, but some other website. So I'm going to keep driver.manage.window.maximize to maximize the browser window and in driver.get I'll give the link of the quiz that I just showed you. Now the next thing I need to do is find that checkbox, single line comment, find the checkbox in Selenium. So for this I have to create web element type and I can call the variable as checkbox. Web element checkbox is equal to driver dot find element and use the by library by name and here Suppose I want to select this checkbox. So right click on it and click on inspect. And here it shows the name of this checkbox. I can copy it from here and paste it as a string here. Now the next thing I need to do is select checkbox in Selenium Java. Again another comment. For this I have to use the variable name checkbox dot click. How to uncheck checkbox in Selenium WebDriver? Use the same Selenium WebDriver with Java command checkbox dot click. Next I can use the is selected method using the Java if statement that I explained in the previous tutorial. So we give if followed by a condition and then the code block within curly braces. So my condition is going to be if checkbox dot is selected. If this condition is true, then I can print something using system dot out dot println. 
and say the checkbox is selected and we have to end every statement with a semicolon else else code block so if the condition is false so I can print that the checkbox is not selected now in MaxTaf, system.out.println writes to the console output pane and we can also write to the log in the log pane we have to use the command mx service which is built into MaxTaf dot add log line and we can say the checkbox has been checked or anything for writing to the log pane you can use a command mx service dot add log line next in the selenium web driver tutorial I need to find out the answer box so again web element and I can call it answer is equal to driver dot find element and we can use the autocomplete in MaxTaf also by and let me find out the answer here so I want to find the locator for the answer box so here it's an input box and the name is answer1 so web element answer is equal to driver dot find element by dot name and give the name answer one which I just copied now I need to extract the text that will be given whether it is incorrect or correct or correct with some explanation so for that I need a string variable in Java and I'm going to call it answer text we can put the variable names in camel case meaning the first letter of the first word is in lower case and all the remaining words start with uppercase letter string answer text is equal to answer is the web element dot get attribute and the name of the attribute is value I can use logging and mx service dot add log line and print out the answer text here in the log I can also use system dot out dot print ln and give the answer text here now I need to know if the selenium checkbox select operation was correct or not so instead of using if statement you can use a java switch statement also the syntax of the java switch statement is that we give switch then we give the expression in parentheses and that is followed by the code in curly braces starting a curly brace and ending curly brace now what java does is it finds out the value of this expression and checks it against the case so if the value of the expression is a the code block for case A will be executed and after this we have to give the break statement if the value of the expression is B then the code block of the case B would be executed again we have to give break now the problem is if you don't give break then it will if the value is A it will execute this code block and continue until it finds the break statement so after every case we have to give the break except for the last case actually and if the value of the expression does not match any of the given values a b c whatever values are there then it goes to default and the default code block is executed I can write the switch statement now in Java the switch then I have to give the expression in parentheses so my expression is going to find the correct string with an answer text variable so for that we can use answer text dot index of 
and what I want to find I can give here correct followed by a period after giving the switch expression I have to write the cases so first case is going to be case 0 because if correct is found in the answer text that means we selected the correct checkbox so here I can give assertion the JUnit assertion that I can use is assert dot assert equals true true so this is going to pass the test case and then after the every case I have to use a break statement a break and I don't want to give any other cases so I can just give default and if correct was not found then index of is going to return negative one so it will come to default and here I can give the assertion assert dot assert equals true false so this is going to fail the test case let me remove this extra space also so now the test case is complete let me save it and compile it also to see if there are any errors case is compiled now I can run it and this time my expectation is that it is going to check the checkbox number 3 and the case is going to pass max staff has started and the case is passed I can go to console output and here I can see it has printed the checkbox is selected and this is the answer text correct and same thing should be in the log the checkbox has been checked and the answer text and if we want we can look at the video also now you should know how to handle checkbox in selenium web driver there are 10 questions in this quiz so in order to validate the correct answer and the answer text is coming correctly a lot of code would be needed even if you know how to handle checkbox in selenium and how to uncheck checkbox in selenium web driver java an easier way is to use MaxStaff data driven testing now in order to validate all the 10 questions in the quiz what I can do is I can put the locators for the checkbox and answer in a CSV file comma separated values file call it answers.csv and this CSV file is going to have two names for the columns checkbox name and answer name and I can give what is the correct checkbox for every question for example for the first question that we just automated it was option 1 3 and answer name was answer 1 for question number 2 it is option 2 1 and the name of the answer is answer 2 so for this in MaxTab what we need to do is write this parameter name and we have to write it like this dollar followed by curly braces and within that mx dot data driven dot name is equal uh, dot checkbox name and this checkbox name is the column name is the CSV and give it some value so this is checkbox underscore name is going to be the parameter in the case and similarly there would be another parameter in the case answer underscore name and same similarly we can write dollar curly braces mx dot data driven dot name dot answer name and answer name is the name of the column in the CSV second thing we have to do in MaxTaf is specify the location of this CSV file in MaxTaf workspace there is a data driven folder and I can put the answers dot CSV in there now let me show you how to implement this in MaxTaf let me show you how to do data driven testing in this selenium tutorial so what I can do is I can 
first of all I don't want to lose the code so I can duplicate this test case click on the duplicate button and MaxTaf has created a duplicate test case I'm going to create the data driven file now so for that click on workspace and this is a workspace it shows all the files here and here I can click on the ellipses here and create a new folder and call it DD for data driven and click on the create button now the folder is created I can right click on it and click on new file and I'm going to call the file as answers dot CSV comma separated values and click on the create button so MaxTaf gives the editor here and let me paste the values here the column names in the CSV are checkbox name and answer name and I put it for two questions only first question option 1 3 is the correct answer and it's answer 1 for the second question option 2 1 is the correct checkbox answer and answer is locator is answer 2 and click on the save button and close this file and go back to cases and open that test case and click on the script tab now in the case there is params for parameters and I can click here so by default it has given some parameters and I can paste the ones that I showed you in the PowerPoint so I'm going to call my parameter name as checkbox underscore name and give dollar curly braces mx dot data driven dot name dot checkbox name so this is the name in the CSV file and similarly another parameter is going to be answer underscore name and the name of the column in the CSV file is answer name and give that mx dot data driven dot file is it's in the dd folder answers dot CSV and save it use this here now once I've created the CSV file for data driven testing and set the parameters I don't need to write much code now for selenium checkbox java web driver so all I need is here driver.manage.window.maximize then driver.get same URL and then find selenium checkbox so here first I need to get the parameter so I can create a variable of the string data type I'm going to call it checkbox locator and this locator is going to come from the CSV file string checkbox locator is equal to mx service dot get param and here give the parameter name with the underscore checkbox underscore name and then on the web page web element checkbox is equal to driver dot find element by name and this is going to be dynamic it's coming from the CSV so I already got checkbox locator above now select checkbox in selenium so checkbox dot click actually I don't need this complete if statement so let me delete it now and delete this log line also now in this selenium java tutorial I need to find the answer box so I have to get the parameter from the CSV file so similar to the checkbox string 
answer locator is equal to mx service dot get param and the name of my parameter is with the underscore answer underscore name because this is what I have specified in the params here once I get the answer locator I can use that to find that element on the web page so web element answer is equal to driver dot find element by name and it's not going to be answer one it's going to be dynamic so on the previous line I created answer locator that is going to contain the string and string answer text is equal to answer dot get attribute dot value this is the same now I want to use logging and console output to display some data so I can use string concatenation in selenium web driver with java create a string variable called message and here I can give the complete information so I can say checkbox with name and plus is for string concatenation combining two strings and name is checkbox locator was checked and the actual answer is answer text and end it with a semicolon now I can use this message to put in the log so mx service dot add log line message and this is already done I don't want to put system dot out dot print ln because that is useful for debugging purpose only finally I have to write the assertions in selenium java web driver so instead of the switch statement I can use if statement also so here give a comment so I have to find correct or one of the questions has yes also or yes in the answer text so if format if you remember is if followed by the condition within parentheses if answer text dot index of and it should contain correct is equal to zero that means it was able to find it in the very first position or answer text dot index of it contains yes so let me copy this and instead of correct it can be yes also and here is the java or operator so either at the very beginning there should be correct or there should be yes that means the question was successfully answered so here I can give the if block so assert dot assert equals true then give else and here the assertion is going to be the opposite true comma false and uh, because I have a single line here in the if block I can even remove the curly braces and same for else also and remove the extra spaces and even I can put this line like this 
now the code is complete and let me run it now click on the run button and click run again now here because this is a data driven test maxstaff is going to run it as a parent and child so we can see that the state is started and actually we can go to the run page and here see that maxstaff has already run one case with one test data in the csv file and ran the other test case now these ids of the parent test case would be one and the child test case the sequence numbers are 2 and 3 so let us open this one and here the log is there check box with name option 1 3 checked and the ans actual answer is correct and we can go back to the runs and see the completed runs for the next one and the log would show this check box with name option 2 1 checked the actual answer is correct and also i can look at the video so here we can see in question number 2 it has checked the check box and the answer is correct now just as i validated two questions i can validate more questions with the same code so for that let me update the csv file for data driven testing so go to workspace and here there is a dd folder this is the answers.csv right click on it and click on open and here i am going to paste more lines here so it is going to validate ans answers for question number 1 2 3 and 4 save this and go back to cases and run it click on the run button again so exactly the same code would work on multiple questions also every question has some check boxes and it is going to check the correct check box and validate whether the answer contains correct or yes in the beginning so i can go to the run page again and here it is running for the four lines in the csv file so two questions have already been validated it is working on question number 3 and then question number 4 and we can click on any one of the question see the log so this is for the question number 1 check box with name option 1 3 check actual answer is correct then go back completed and this should be question number 2 look in the log check box with name option 2 1 check the actual answer is correct and also check for question number 3 check box with name option 3 3 checked actual answer is correct and finally check question number 4 
this is also passed by max staff because of the assertion checkbox with name option 43 check the actual answer is correct so i hope that you were able to learn selenium commands and data driven testing in this selenium with java tutorial please view all tutorials in this selenium training and keep learning thank you